So Electromega is here at Hardware Pioneers 2023 and I'm joined by Gavin from Rack Wireless and it's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now we've got a lot of stuff around here uh, and, um, and it seems to be that it's involving uh, Laura. I think it's Laura, Laura, how do you pronounce it? Laura. Laura, I call it Laura. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so you've got a lot about uh, Laura. So could you go ahead and go through what it is that we are seeing today? So predominantly uh, Rack Wireless is a Laura One gateway provider. So we manufacture the, the necessary hardware and infrastructure to build a wireless network using that wireless protocol, which is a long range, low power um, kind of piece of technology. Um, that's the, the main core of the business. We also have the, uh, the modules and relevant hardware to enable uh, people to build their actual IoT node devices, so the actual sensors that, that use the network. So we have the whole gamut of products there. But so, it's, like, so it's everything from the infrastructure to create the network all the way down to the individual modules that someone would put on a PCB? Yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly that. And that's where if you're, you're, you're um, lucky enough to be able to develop your own hardware, yeah. that's great. We have something in between. We have a, a modular um, hardware platform that uh, allows you to build your own hardware node device from these modular click together pieces of uh, electronics, basically. Uh, to, to use another name, Lego, it's like Lego for IoT hardware. Um, and that's what we have here today also to um, really enable people to, to get to, to market, to, to get to their value much quicker because hardware is very difficult to, to do. Now, if you're part of the pun, but well, we have a rack here. We do, yeah. Now, yeah. could you please go through what's on this rack? Okay, the, in, amongst this, uh, this kind of mess that's accumulated over the day, so we have um, our gateways to the, the right. We have this uh, one of our indoor gateways, and to the right hand side, the big one is an outdoor gateway. So these are the kind of core products that we offer today. Uh, and everything else in between is uh, these are the modular elements of our WizBlock modular hardware range, which is made up of over 100 modules. Um, which essentially are formed upon um, what we call a baseboard. The baseboard hosts all of the modules. Which is this one here. So that is actually um, related to it. So this. That's an antenna, right? This, yeah, that's an answer. This is a this is a baseboard. Oh yeah, yeah. I it's, see. it's currently hosting yeah. uh, what we call a core module, which is the MCU. And you can see these empty slots here. These small ones um, host um, sensors. The larger one will host some kind of interface. Yeah. This baseboard can be mounted to this antenna. So this one here is a PCB antenna. This is a PCB antenna, yeah. I can see the traces. Yeah, so that is actually a very clever um, self-contained oh, antenna. And you can tap it onto there with the SMA Exactly, yeah. oh, well, 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 well nice. that's short cable. But the, the really <laughs> clever thing with this is we have a, a modular enclosure range. So right. this, um, yeah. gotta jump the gun slightly, this antenna is tailored for one of our modular uh, IoT enclosures, which we yeah. created. Yeah. So that drops in there, and then your. It really hardware. is like Lego. It, it, it is. And I, yeah. I think we should probably take uh, take the camera's attention over here, where we can actually see the diagram showing how modular it really is. So you've clearly got power, different modules, GPS, MCU, and you stick them all together and create a prototype piece of hardware. Now, now even though it's it's like even though it's like Lego, um, obviously a customer could use this in an end application. But does it make more sense for them to? build their own uh, kind of like custom design or, or is this good for commercial? It's good for commercial. So we've built it um, with that in mind. So it's um, for some it's a development tool, yeah. but for many, we have many customers who deploy this in the field as it stands today. We've allowed that by careful selection of the connectors, but also the modules, um, when they click together, there's a further mechanical fastening. There's some uh, M 1.2 screws, which are not fitted here, oh, but that's tiny. So basically, they don't come apart. Yeah. So unlike so, other, so it's not going to like it's, it's not like an Arduino shield that might separate. No, 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 yeah. They don't they don't separate because no, no, they're mechanically yeah. fixed yeah, together. Yeah. Everything is mechanically fixed together yeah. and removable and replaceable and modular. So in terms of your your question, sort of lead into some other kind of theme. Some IoT solutions, um, they cannot justify um, a node to be manufactured at the, the, the quantity you need to design your own hardware. You know, many thousands. We have uh, customers using WizBlock. They have a hundred nodes. Every one of them is different. You can only do that with WizBlock. Or they deploy them and they go back to them and change them later. And so what you find is that even though the individual modules might be more expensive than the sum of the parts, it's still cheaper than trying to do it custom because you can't do it in the volume. 
Precisely, yeah, yeah, precisely. And we manufacture these in volumes so we can actually offer an attractive price for the modules as well. Um, so that's, that's kind of the core of it. But what is a, a, another pain point beyond hardware yeah. for, for nodes, it's why we gave birth to these enclosures, is that the, the industry or, or the kind of the, the, the development world, uh, if they're lucky enough to be able to design and develop and, and tool up for an enclosure, they need a lot of funding. I was literally going to go on that point. It is amazing how few enclosures there are for development boards that are all standardized. Well, this is even further because this enclosure was designed with IoT in mind because on the back we have this um, modular mounting system. And if I draw over to this shelf here, we have... Um, the only thing is that it has to be... In, uh, Ten uh, modular mounting accessories. Oh, a battery. So, so, no, this is a magnet. Oh, magnet. Uh, yeah. I thought it was a battery. You know, that would have been really cool if it was a removable battery, but... Don't put magnets in your products here, or batteries as magnets. So, you go, so, so that's, uh, that's how they fit together. So we have these modular mounting accessories. That's a magnet mount. That's a pole mount. That's brilliant. Yeah, that's a DIN rail clip. So I'm only showing one here. And they, they fit in different positions. So it's entirely modular and... It so it's not just mounting to like a, like a piece of fence post, it can go on a pole, it can go on a, uh, an industrial rack, all those kind of yeah, things. Yeah, and we, ha we have 10 uh, accessories in this range. Um, we have three enclosure sizes available in um, two uh, colours, we have grey and white. Um, so that was born to kind of fill the gap even further because we found people were like amazed by the modularity of WizBlock. They were, Thank you for doing that, really helps us move forwards quickly. Um, but still, I have to. But I've got the pain of developing an enclosure or buying something and it's using a, hot, a, hot glue process. and Velcro in it. Oh, <laughs> you know. Hot glue, yeah. We've we've all been there. I, I, I totally get that. Now, one thing that has caught my eye is that a um, a terminal block. It is, yeah. So what they are um, a number of industrial interfaces. So we have. Hence, hence the DIN rails as well, so you can yeah, yeah, wire up into a cabinet. Yeah, yeah so we have inter industrial interfaces to support a lot of the common um, industrial interfaces. People are buying those quite uh, readily these days to enable like uh, older equipment to make that smart, like um, you know, industrial machinery that you can't change, so they're just interfacing, making something smart that's not smart. Brilliant. Right, well, just before we wrap this video up, one question for you, for the viewers out there who are watching this video, what would you recommend to them if they want to get straight into this? They should buy one of our WizBlock kits, ready to go kits. We have a range of kits that are use case specific or we have a general kit. So you can buy one of those, have some fun, play around with it. Um, yeah, and, and absorb our great documentation. Fantastic. Well, thank you ever so much for taking the time to see us here. And for those out there, if you want to know more about Rack Wireless, then check out the link in the description.